Hey everybody, welcome back to Spike Myth Cup, where today we're playing this team that I made here. Um, I saw this tweet by Wheel Tweet Needle, and I'm pretty sure it was about like Contrary Malamar or something like that. I don't remember what the tweet said, and I don't want to look it up. So, some kind of tweet, and my reply to it was something about Baton Pass Malamar. So I went and made a Baton Pass Malamar team because... I don't know. I think it's I think it's funny to play. I re really enjoyed playing this team. And it's uh, probably better. Um, I got another showdown salt style video for you guys because I think this is probably more entertaining this way, um, just because it's like long longer battles, more setup. Um, but this is this is pretty consistent. Like you could just play this team and not have to worry about like getting the perfect setup. Um, let's talk about the team really quick here. So like Malamar with leftovers and contrary. Baton Pass, Superpower, Brutal Swing, Protect. The basic idea here is we're running Eldegoss, Malamar. Um, Eldegoss' ability, Cotton Down, whenever it gets hit by an attack, it lowers the speed of every other Pokemon on the field. But Malamar has Contrary, so it actually raises Malamar's speed. If we combine that with Superpower, we can boost up our Malamar's speed, attack, and defense um, really, really easily, just kind of like passively for free. And um, then we can Baton Pass that to our other Pokemon, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, running Sleep Powder, Charm, Pollen Puff, Protect. Sleep Powder was just super clutch for just like, if there was something on the field that was gonna like KO Malamar, I could put it to sleep for at least a turn or two um, in order to get Malamar set up and get the Baton Pass. Um, charm was, is really important, um, not only for lowering my opponent's attack stat, because anything with U-Turn can pretty much deal with Malamar, which is pretty not fun, because it's the Dark Psychic type and it's four times weak to bug. But after a Charm, I found that the my Malamar spread could live most hits, um, mo most U-Turns, even like if I get the Charm off, so just like Protect Charm and then I can live, especially if I get Defense Boosts. Pollen Puff was really important. Um, it was it's it's Eldegoss' only damaging move, and like every once in a while I could do damage with it. But really, really, it was important because um, healing Malamar. So like, if I know that I'm gonna live the turn, but I'm not gonna live it with that much HP, I can go ahead and just Pollen Puff myself um, and get going that way, which is really really nice. It's also good for healing my other Pokemon. Um, Eldegoss is so bulky; it has so much special defense. I think what what stupid attack did I take? I took like a heat wave from Torkoal in the sun, and I was like, "What? How?" I don't think that, that that battles in this video, but you'll see. You'll see the battles. Like they're really good. Um, the two Pokemon that I want to switch into here are Metagross and Dracovish. I like, kind of do really different things. Um, the Metagross is just kind of like all around. Like it's good into most teams if I get the the stat boost up with the speed and the attack and everything. It hits just really hard. And I'm also running Body Press because those defense boosts are just like super good. Um, Body Press, Meteor Mash, Rock Slide, Zen Headbutt with the Assault Vest. The Assault Vest lets us live stuff on the special side. We'll get defense boosts from our Malamar. Um, and then this is just like really good coverage into everything. I never was in a situation where I was like, my Metagross literally can't hit my opponent. Like, no, everything was fine. Um, Choice Band, Dracovish, Vicious Ren, Protect, uh, Psychic Fangs, Ice Fangs, and um, Stone Edge. Super good Dracovish. Um, you get it in with the speed boost and the attack boost, and it just... It just wrecks things. Like, I think in this video, I like one shot a Rillaboom with Vicious Ren, and it was just stupid, <laughs> stupid amounts of damage. Um, the Alecky, I never really used that much. I'd probably change this for something else, but I don't really know what you need. Maybe something else that you could switch into, or just like another support Pokemon. I'm not. Oh, oh God, sorry. I'm not really sure. The thought process here was kind of like. I could lead like a Lecky Malamar, or Lecky Eldegoss, and Bolt Switch into whatever. But I never really did it. It was never really that relevant. Um, the last mons here, this Incineroar. The Incineroar is good, like, every once in a while. You just want to have Incineroar to come in and, like, get fake outs and stuff and, like, be disruptive. Um, Incineroar is just a good mon. So that's the team, guys. As always, everybody, if you like this video, leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment. Um, tell me what you think about Baton Pass Malamar. Tell me if you think the, the video is good because I actually did some extra stuff in this video that I haven't been doing my Showdown Salt videos. I actually had somebody get really salty with me, so you'll see that in a second. And go ahead and subscribe. We're getting, we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers for the end of the year. If you like the video, if you like me, if you like my content, go ahead and just subscribe. Be a friend, be an Andy fan. And with that, everybody, let's jump into the battles.
Steel? What a bad team. That's all you can do? I mean, it's working. Splish! For real, what a bad team. Sup team, form teal. <laughs> I don't understand how people do this. In best of three, it's a really easy team to beat. Bye bye. Just play, f Suck team! If it's bad, then win. Suck my d- Oh my god! Count the turns of freeze with me. One. Two. Four. Five. Six. Bye bye. Yeah! <laughs>
Splish. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god! Thank you. 